As you all know, I teach an online course on how to attract women. One of my students asked a very interesting question the other day. He asked, should a player date strippers? And if yes, how do you date a stripper? Well, anything is possible. But my question is to him, why would you want to? Is it because you think they will be easier to get in the bed? Do you really want to be with someone who works in the sex industry? But like most guys, he didn't want to get introspective or go that deep into his own psyche. He just wanted to bang strippers. <laughs> so since he has, I should give. If you frequent strip clubs on a regular basis, those strippers already know who your face. Most will see you as just a customer. Some will also see you as a trick. If this is the case, she is probably turning tricks, and if she is, you shouldn't want to date her anyway. I'm not down in prostitutes. I really try to not judge people for the decisions that they make in their lives, but we are players, not pimps. The pimp and hoe game is a whole different monster to deal with, my guy, so let's just leave that alone. Now, if she is just a stripper who sees you as a customer, cool, let's go from here. But here's some bad news. She just sees you as a customer, no different than any other guy in the club paying for a lap dance. But here's the good news. Your boy King Dose has the keys to the castle. I've pulled a few strippers in my lifetime, and just like any other woman, they are full of insecurities and issues. You would think someone who takes their clothes off for a living would be full of confidence, but strippers have their own set of neuroses. But back to you. First of all, Find a new club to go to, or at least stop going to the ones you frequent for a few months. Now let's get back down to business. There are five different types of strippers you must learn how to spot. Number one, the call girl stripper. We have already scratched her off the list, so if you meet this type of stripper, leave her be. Number two, the hustler stripper. This girl is serious about her money. Either you pay or you go. She has no time for your small talk. All she wants is to get you in the back and bleed you dry from lap dances. There's no negotiating with her. The only language she speaks is currency, period. Three, the drugged out stripper. She needs to be high all of the time. Whether it's pills, liquor, or coke, she needs her special medicine just to make it through the night. This girl is on a downward spiral. Don't you even think about playing Captain Save-A-Ho. Let her go. Number four, daddy's girl. This stripper has daddy issues, hence the name daddy's girl. She never really had a strong father figure in her life. A high percentage of these chicks have been abused as children. It's sad, but true. A friend or former boyfriend probably introduced her to the strip game and she has gotten addicted to the easy money and is comfortable with being there. Number five, the college stripper. She's there temporarily and she really is going to school and trying to better herself. But books and classes cost money. So she is doing what she has to do to get to where she needs to be. You want to stay away from number one, two, and three. Your chances will be better with four and five. Now, I will say this, if the hustler stripper sees a way that she can get bread with you and not just from you, she may be open to kick it with you, but she has to see an upside to it for her and her pocketbook. So let's just say you meet daddy's girl or college stripper. How do you get her to go out with you? Well, you have to get into her mind. She has 50 guys every night, if not more, hitting on her or worse, grabbing on her and fondling her. Men are a blur to her. Everyone is a potential customer, not a soulmate. Truthfully, she has a poor image of men by now. When she approaches you and asks, would you like to dance, offer to buy her a drink instead. If she is one or two, she will just move on. Plus, the call girl stripper would ask if you want a good time anyway. If she is three, she may take you up on it. But after a few minutes, you could tell if she's a druggie or not. Just peep out her demeanor. She will already be high and spaced out or itching for a hit. Now, if four or five takes you up on your offer, they will sit for a few minutes, but that's it, only for a few minutes. They have money to make, so after that drink, she will say thank you and move on. It's up to you to use those few minutes that you have to qualify her and see if she is primed for taking direction. When you introduce yourself, she will give you her stripper name. Don't push the issue and try to get her real name. That will come later. If you came with friends, let her know that they forced you to come and you usually don't go to strip clubs. It's just not your thing. If you're by yourself, tell her you were bored and wanted to get a drink. And this was the first place that you saw. What this does is let her know from jump that you are not just another customer looking for a lap dance. Like I said before, you only have a few minutes to make a good impression on her. Before I continue, let me give you one of life's little secrets. Every single person on this planet is about self-preservation and the pursuit of personal gain. As you certify her, that must be in the back of your mind. People want to know what it is that you can do for them, not the other way around. Why should you be the guy she lets enter behind the invisible velvet rope? Why should you have access to her personal life? 
So here's some generic game you can shoot at her real fast. Let her know what you do for a living and make it sound successful. Next, say to her verbatim. It's something about you that's different than the rest of these girls. I can sense it. Dancing is just something you're doing for now. What else do you have planned for your life? If she's the college stripper, she will say that she's in school and what she's in school for. Cool. And you go from there. If not, she is most likely a daddy's girl and will say something to the effect of, not really, I just like dancing. Okay, she's a daddy's girl. Let's go with that. She is not used to being around thorough men. She's used to dealing with perverts and losers who look at her like a piece of meat. And that is the reason you always keep eye contact. Trust me, she will notice that you are not looking at her tits or ass. After a little more small talk, you should be the one who suggests that she should get back to work. Let her know that you don't want her to miss out on any money, but to check back with you later for that dance or to just come back between songs for another drink and small talk. I usually don't keep buying women drinks at a club, but this is different. She's a stripper and you don't want to look cheap. Plus, you just made the table you're sitting at her break spot whenever she wants to chill out and have a free drink. Trust me, she will be back. When she comes back, this is the time when you should let her know that it would benefit her to really get to know you and why. Let her know that she seems smart and you have a few business ideas to run past her. If she pressures you about the business, say you want to invest in something like selling women's clothes or makeup or hair because you see how much money that these chicks are making on Instagram and you need a woman's touch since this is not your expertise. You need a front person. Break down how much money is involved and don't be afraid when you're paying for those drinks to flash a nice roll of money. I said flash it, not spend it. After a little more small talk, ask her would it be cool to take her out to lunch or breakfast to pick her brain. Right about now, she is confused and doesn't know what to think about you. But one thing she does know for sure is that you're not like these other guys. So most likely she'll say yes. Trade numbers, tell her you got business to take care of in the morning so you're out. And there you have it. Your foot is in the door. Now it's up to you to keep spitting that A1 game into her ear until she is giving you private lap dances in her bedroom. And don't worry if you join Player University or even just keep looking at these videos. I'm going to tell you how to spit that game, that A1 game. So I got you, partner. And oh, yeah, here's a couple of rules you have to follow after you and her are having entanglements. Shout out to Jada Pinkham. One, do not, I repeat, do not become the jealous guy who gets mad every time you see a guy hitting on her at the club or, or every time her phone rings. You are not her boyfriend. You're just kicking it with her. Plus, this is where you met her at. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, bucko. Players never become emotionally attached, especially not to a stripper. You're just asking for trouble. Your job is to have fun with her until you are tired of her. It's as simple as that. Two, stay alert. Don't let her run game on you. Never forget that she is still a stripper. She is still 10 toes deep in that game. If she starts asking for money and pressuring you into doing things that you usually wouldn't do, Drop her and try again. Follow these rules and the blueprint that I've given you and you should be good to go. And don't forget to download my free ebook, Seven Ways to Attract Women. Subscribe, click the like button, and hit that little bell because you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. I usually drop videos on Thursdays and Saturdays. Play on, players.